today we are going to do the ultimate boat battle. We're putting my 40 foot military River Rhine patrol boat up against my 26 foot Pavati. Now, this isn't a really fair matchup because this boat has a thousand horsepower and is designed for shallow water, you know, hot combat situations, while that boat is designed for family, cruising, surfing, wakeboarding. But today, we're gonna see if we can get the old military boat to crank up a big surf wave, big enough to compete with the Pavati. I personally am not sure if it's gonna happen, but we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna try using different weights, ballasts, uh, wedges, all sorts of different things to see if this giant military boat will be able to create a wave that's even somewhat close to the beautiful surf wave of the Pavati. So buckle up and enjoy because this is gonna get wild. This boat from Nam. <laughs> Nam's his uh his grandma. Grandma gave it to him. <laughs> you know Nam from Nami. From Nami. <laughs> Yeah, really, amigo. No, amigo, this is bad, amigo. Huh? This is this is bad. <laughs> you, you to appeal to the masses here. Not quite sure what it says, but we're figuring her out. <laughs> I think it's somebody's birthday or something. First time in a boat in the lake. I never first been. time on a boat. First time. I never <laughs> been this in my life. <laughs> I'm so scared, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the only thing I can say, man, is if we start going down, just just uh, just you know embrace it. The Pavati has this giant Garmin uh, touchscreen display that controls pretty much everything on the boat. So in order to be able to get the ballast filled up on this it's very easy. It's going to be a completely different process than the Navy boat over there. Um, see this button right here? It says ballast control. We're going to hit that once and it says open. What that does is that's going to open two four inch gate valves on the back of the boat, slide open. Then two giant compartments that run down each side of the boat, which are basically built out of aluminum into the hull are going to bring on roughly I think it's 4,000 gallon or 4,000 pounds of water. Um, and it happens all within a matter of 
maybe two minutes at the most, and it's all gravity fill. So since those valves are underneath, underneath the water, when you open them, the weight of the boat pushes down and gravity is pushing water into these compartments. And then once it gets to the point where the compartment's full, it can't take on any more water, we'll take and close those valves and our ballast is gonna be full. It's way better than running pumps. It's way better than running any sort of like mechanical system that requires pumping and moving water around. And it's gravity empty as well. So basically when it's time to empty them, we open the valves again, put the boat up on plane like this so that it runs at a bit of an angle and all that water drains out of those tanks. And then once it's empty, you got some gauges right here. See the gauges tell you right now we're at about you know, between about 60%. So within another 30 seconds or so, the tanks are gonna be full. They empty just as fast because those valves are huge. So that's how we get the ballast on 4,000 pounds of water onto the Pavati right here. And then once we're ready to start surfing, we're gonna hit the button surf right or surf left. And that means whether you're regular or goofy footed, we're gonna choose that side and it's gonna kick out a panel on the side, on the back of the boat, basically changes the hull of the boat and pushes it one direction or the other. Because when you're surfing, you wanna have the boat kind of driving sideways through the water because what that does is it allows one side of the wake to be really washed out and nasty and the other side of the wake really crisp and clean with no white water. Uh, decent sized dudes on here, so we got a lot of weight. So the wave should be pretty good. Um, this boat is 26 foot, so it is yacht certified, which means there's no capacity on how many people you can put on it. The thing about the Garmin display is it controls literally everything. I can go to switch mode and I can choose climate control between heated seats. I've got a, a big blower heater. I got cooled seats. I got cooled cup holders. I've got all these different controls right here and all these different panels. Or like you said, I can go back here and I can choose video, which is going to pull up a camera or I can go and I can choose a full engine display, which will show me everything's going on with the engine compartment. Or I can go to charts and I can check out the navigational chart of the lake to see where we've been, where we're going, what kind of underwater obstacles we're dealing with. I mean, this screen is absolutely dialed. It's got everything you could possibly need. This, this is Camino's first time in a boat. Is it really? Like in, in a, a boat. boat. Oh, Oh, like on the lake or on the, in a boat. Oh, there's a body. This is the easiest cover you'll ever set up. Who's going for the first ride? You? No? We put Alan out on the okay. wake. On the surfboard? Yeah. Surfboard. Okay, well, we're gonna have the wizard <laughs> break in the first wave here to show you guys uh, how it's done. Because he's a wizard. Uh, or how not to do it. Either way, Which whatever side? happens, happens. Which? I have no idea how to do this, so uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, let's get you a life jacket. Okay. Yep. I have completely total faith in you. I want you to know that. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I can die a horrible death, suffocation at the bottom of the lake, but I mean, really. <laughs> Are your keys, phone, or wallet in your pocket? Oh, great. Oh, not that again. Was that the, was that my birthday gift I gave you, the receipt? No. I got you something, actually. What? This? I thought I was gonna get a, a, a hug. You kept no, that's my old hanky. Oh. All right, here's this end. Go into neutral real quick so you can figure this out. All right. Oh, no. Yeah, wizard! Yeah, the wizard's surfing! Yeah, 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 yeah. Exciting. I like him. I'm a little scared, but I like him, man. So as you can see, that's how the Pavati wave looks with the push of a couple of buttons. It's a big, big wave. Very, very powerful. 
probably almost about four feet tall and it starts to barrel at the back. The reason why I love the Pavati, obviously, multiple reasons, uh, the aluminum hull and all these different things, but the adjustability is pretty much infinite. So if you've got people that are very, very passionate about a certain type of wave, boom, right here. It's all adjustable right here at my fingertips and I can get pretty much the any type of wave I want out of it. And that's not even to mention like the wakeboarding and the, wake, uh, the foil boarding waves. Now we're going to show you what the military boat can do with about 20 minutes of setup with some fat sacks. Each of these bags is about 750 pounds of water. So we're going to add 1500 pounds of water. Plus we have roughly another 700 pounds of lead bags. So now we're going to pump some water on board, get all the guys on here and see what we can get out of this boat. These jet drive pumps might just create way too much thrust to be able to create a clean wave, but that's what we're here to uh, find out today. You see any plugs right for these the sacks? Boat? Our good buddy Andrew Wallace just boarded the boat. Andrew is uh, somewhat of a professional wakeboarder. He's really good. If anybody can get up on a sloppy wave, it's gonna be Wally. Because we have no idea what it's gonna be. Like I said, I have no cruise control. I just have a throttle. So I gotta kind of guess where the speed's at and uh, manually adjust it the whole time. We're gonna be moving dudes around, trying to get the boat to shift, kind of lean this way and also kick that way. You want it to uh, be riding through the water like that. and that's Jet drive pulling a lot harder than the other one, and that's kind of helping keep the wave clean. But that's actually a really decent. For a twin jet drive boat that's not supposed to, uh, oh, I have my buckets in the wrong spot too. I should have changed my buckets. Hey, that wasn't terrible. I mean, we got it up. <laughs>
This engine, Al. Oh. That engine says it's hot. I wonder if it's not. It doesn't seem like it's moving water. Oh. Woo! Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. It doesn't fire. seem hot. <laughs> yeah, all right. Should be okay. It's it's. Oh. Okay. Yeah. The it looks like the uh, cap is off. The cap oh, yeah. style. Yeah. It's right there. It's next to it. Yeah. So we need water in it. Water right here. <coughs> It tastes like antifreeze, the smoke. That's crazy. You should taste it. Yeah. Don't that cap come hey, off. Hey, that's dude. my water. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> that's why it wasn't accelerating well. This is actually the first mechanical issue we've had with this boat, and it was just the radiator cap blew off, causing that engine to overheat. So just uh, going to put some water back in there, and she should be good to go. que se echó a perder la bomba esa? ¡Oh, no! ¡La! ¡La! ¡Ah, no la asusté! ¡Ah, no la asusté! So, uh, the boat has an impeller on each engine that pulls fresh water in and runs it through the cooling system to keep things cool. And, that's... and so if, uh, if the impeller's not working, which you know, the impeller wasn't working or the thermostat uh, or the, the coolant cap blew off. That's the Anyways, about the best spot if I don't turn it It's on got a way for me to be able to open a valve that takes the jet flow, the jet uh, stream yeah. out of the engine and runs it back into the engine to cool it down. How is the no, 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 Dave, I just need you to come in real quick. We forgot to film the outro again. You can't come in because you took on karate classes? No, 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 Dave. You're saying your dog ate your car keys. Oh, he ate your car. Oh, you're telling me you're sick now. So you just you just want me to do it then. Dave, you know what happens when I get in front of the camera. Okay, okay, fine, I'll do it. Freaking Dave. All right, so clearly Dave can't do the intro. And uh, I think I'm his last resort. I'm Eric, by the way, the videographer, or at least one of them. I'm not gonna give you the outro in our office. We're gonna take this to the Pavati. How do you do an outro? How you do an outro? Yeah. I'd be like, well, what would you think of the video? Was it crazy? And then when this and this happened, it was nuts. Like, we fell off the boat and... I cut out Diesel Dave right there because only Diesel Dave can do Diesel Dave spiels, so I'm not even gonna try. Well, for starters, one thing that's funny about working for Dave, he's so freaking fast-paced. As a videographer, we don't use tripods, gimbals, anything that's gonna take a lot of time to set up. So, for instance, check this out. My camera set up on car keys and like an armrest. That's just the lifestyle we live as Dave's videographers. But how would I do an outro like Dave? I do know that Dave starts these out with just thanking you guys for watching the video. There's a lot of hard work that goes into these with the whole crew and I'm proud to be a part of it. And the real reason I'm doing this outro is because kid, it, this is so hard. <sighs> he's having me do this because he's taking his kids to the pool and he didn't invite me to the pool. It's cool, I get it. Dave wanted me to tell you guys that we have some exciting content coming up. Blackhawk update. I know you guys are raving over that. I'm excited to go film it. We're doing some 
stuff I can't really tell you about, but it's gonna be good. Dude, why are there always airplanes? Can't you see I'm trying to film an outro? One cool thing is that Dave sells these Pavati boats at the end of every season. This current Pavati is a 2020 Pavati AL26. It's gonna be on sale here in a few weeks, but you're gonna have to get through me because I already put the down payment on it, so. Just kidding. I don't think I'll ever be able to own a Pavati. So you can contact Brody Shannon at Pavati. Contact info in description below. That's it. That's actually a lot less information than I thought it was going to be from Dave. These outros are important because the videos are chaotic and it's nice to just kind of gradually get you out of, you know, vlog mode. What am I saying? What I'm trying to say is, um, as an editor, I want you to feel at peace when you leave these videos, like you're ready to move on to the next thing. Actually, one thing I'm just gonna throw out there that I didn't check with Dave, uh, feel free to leave suggestions of how you like these videos to be done. What's, what's the most appealing to you? That'd be pretty cool to hear some feedback there. Before I ramble on like Dave does, I'm gonna get out of here.